your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life. Deep connection, lights a spark. It's like you know me in the depths of my heart. We're dreamers. So welcome back to another vlog. It is Erica. If you're new here, it is Monday morning for me and I woke up this morning not feeling very good. <laughs> I was feeling really nauseous. I have no idea why, but it sort of subsided. I just ate something. So I don't know. I got up and got Jackson ready for school, made his lunch and all that. And then I was like, Marion, you're going to take him to school. I got to lay down and I lay down for a while. I don't know. What it was last night when I ate dinner, I didn't have any issues, nothing. I went to bed fine, and yeah, when my alarm went off, I was like, oh my gosh, I feel so sick. So, hopefully that has passed. I've kind of just not, it's not morning actually, it's afternoon now, but I'm not, I, all morning I've just not felt great. But I'm hoping now that I ate, I ate actually some of those frozen grapes that I showed you with like the jello you put on it and freeze them. I don't know, for some reason it just sounded like it would be good, and it did kind of settle my stomach, so... Hopefully, hopefully I'm good. But anyway, today is an exciting day because our our new couch arrived. I showed you some glimpses of it. I'm going to show you a little bit more. We ended up, if you saw the video where we went um, furniture shopping, we did go to, I've looked online a lot at a lot. And then we went to four different stores in town. And the last store we went to is called Grand Home Furnishings. We actually found a set there that we loved. And so we bought it and the we bought a couch and a love seat so we had the um what is it called sectional before and if you watched my last video we moved that downstairs into the basement and marion is now working down there today's his first day to work down there and he has so much room and it's so great it's gonna take some getting used to but i'm already planning my pantry and let me tell you i am excited now i started looking on pinterest because i really didn't have any idea but Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So that'll be coming down the down the pipe at, at some point. But the couch and the love seat we chose were, well, I'll show you. Obviously, you saw some of it, but this is the couch. Clearly, um, the dogs. Give it a thumbs up. Um, it is darker in person, but you can see the color of my recliner. That was the color of our old couch, so it is lighter than the old one. But it's funny how they told us when they delivered it today, I said, wow, it's so much darker. And they said, that's the number one thing they hear when people, when they deliver is that, wow, it's so much different than in the store. She, he's like, I don't know what kind of lighting they use, but it did look lighter, but I'm totally fine with it. We wanted, basically when we chose this couch, we, we had a long list of like what we wanted and we'd love to like shop around and like find exactly what we want. So we were on a mission and we found exactly what we wanted that we had to consider so many things, like obviously my dogs live on my couch. So it had to be something that was gonna hold up to dogs and also something that's not really light that could show up every little thing. So we wanted durable, we wanted comfortable, had to be the right price, everything had to work out and so we were really happy with the one that we chose. So this was in stock, but the love seat was not. They said they ordered them at the same time, but the love seats had not come in yet. So we don't know if it's gonna be a week or a month, we don't know. But we said as long as we get the couch, we're, we're fine and we can wait for the love seat till, you know, whenever it comes in. So for now, I'm gonna leave my recliner up here. But eventually, if it fits, we're gonna actually put that downstairs too with, in Marion's room. So there will be, cause I don't, I don't know, it's a good recliner and I don't wanna just get rid of it. And I don't really wanna sell it just cause I love it. Like I love the way that it, I don't know. I love, it's so comfortable, it's so comfortable. It's even more comfortable than these, but 
These do both recline, which is something that we really wanted. You know, we're gonna be 50 soon and we wanted something comfortable and we wanted reclining sofas, so that's what we chose. So the love seat also reclines and um, that was like one of the things we really wanted and we thought about just like investing in like a really nice reclining sofa and just getting that, but, but I really wanted I really wanted both pieces. So we got this. We love it. It's, um, I don't know what, it's considered a gray, I guess. And then this is my rug I got at Ollie's, if you saw in that last video. It's just like a carpet. It's not like a rug. It's just like, looks like carpet. And, um, you know, I replace my rugs every year to year and a half to two years. So, cause this is such a high traffic area, you know, so they get run down, they get, um, you know, they just, they, there's a lot of wear and tear. Plus we have dogs and cats and it's just something that we replace every year to two years. And so it's been a year and a half since I got my other one and it was time for it to go. So I don't like to spend a lot on rugs because I know I'm going to replace it in a little while. So this is $90. It's an eight by 12. So it goes really far, which I love so that, um, if we put the love seat over here, you know, it'll still be underneath it and we can change it up and Clyde's terrorizing the cats. Oh my gosh, he's such a little stinker. Clyde, he is such a bad boy. He is terrorizing poor Chloe. Anyway, I can't make my bed because Claire is in my bed. But I'm, I'm not sure what to do about the pillows. But those blue pillows from at home, and I love them. I wasn't sure how they'd look on the couch. Um, I do love them. And, but then I have these. I took this off my bed. Like this is the ones that I have on my bed, which they're actually reversible. So there's that too. And um, they look really good on the couch too. So I don't know if I should get like more of those. And then I could put like one of each of these on the love seat and one on the couch. I don't know. The pillow's kind of, kind of frustrating me. Anyway, the dogs clearly do not care. I'm happy, got my couch. And you know, there's only three of us living at home right now. So there's plenty of seating for us right now, but I do have plans. In the living room, I'm gonna repaint. We're gonna get like new lighting. Marion's gonna build me some fun things. Hopefully those will be coming up really soon because I really don't wanna wait. Like now that we got the furniture, I wanna just finish the rest of the living room. And then there's, you know, more projects to come. It's supposed to be like in the 70s this weekend, like 75 on Sunday. Like that is so fun. I'm so excited. So it kinda makes me think I'd love to get out and work on the porch <laughs> because we have to finish the porch. We never finished it. Uh, but I don't know. We'll have to see. But I'm going to take you down in a little while and let you see Marion's room because um, we moved him down last night. So if you didn't see that video, I'll show you what his room looks like. It's still being worked on. We still probably have to go get a few things today and set up like his entertainment wall. I think we decided or he decided what, what he's going to do. He needs a little help in that area because that's part that he doesn't understand. Or it stresses him out like how everything should be set up and all that. And I said, well, that's the part I like. So anyway. I'll show you when he's not working. I'll show you what it looks like down there. I did do this feature on his wall with paint and I don't think I like it, but he said, I don't think it's cool. So we'll leave it if he likes it. Anyway, tonight, um, I have to, well, when I get Jackson from school, he has this dish he has to make for French class. He has to bring it tomorrow. So we're going to work on this, like an apple tart or something. And he's supposed to make it, but I have to obviously help him. And then, uh, I'm going to just be making some, a really simple dinner tonight. I'm going to be making spaghetti, well, like pasta not spaghetti just like pasta with that Rayo's marinara sauce or pasta sauce I've never had it but everybody talks about how good it is and it's like six something at Walmart so it better be good but I thought I've always wanted to try it so I just bought it and we're gonna try it tonight see if it's good I don't feel like making a whole lot like a big fancy meal so well I never feel like making a big fancy meal but I just wanted something easy tonight with me not feeling good. So that will be dinner and I'll let you know what I think of it. Well, this day has gotten away from me. It is 4.45 already and I've been editing. Try and get my video up for tomorrow and I've been falling asleep. So <laughs> like usual. So I got to get up. I'm going to make this. Well, Jackson's going to make this thing. I'm going to help him. And I will show you. I'm not going to link this recipe down below. It's from a cookbook that he got from his French teacher. It's like a, right? Yeah. Yeah, so it's called upside down apple tart. Basically, but it's in French, so <laughs> I don't know. That's the that's the uh, English translation. What it, French apple tart? Upside down. Upside down apple tart. So this is a picture of what the top would look like, and then when you flip it over, yeah. Oh, my battery is flashing. Get it out. Okay. Nope. Throw that in the trash. 
I, I took the butter out earlier so that it would cool, uh, heat be up. easier. Yeah. Or hopefully easier to use. Be careful because this is pretty sharp. different than what I always use like ragu I definitely think it tastes better I don't know if it tastes six dollars better but it definitely tastes better it tastes like the sauce they use at like the actual Italian restaurants in our town so that's cool it's definitely delicious I got the roasted garlic so I would definitely say give it a try if you're into that kind of like if that's something you really love I definitely loved it so I don't know if it's worth six dollars <laughs> but I'm kind of cheap so but it's definitely delicious all right there is the tart and we haven't flipped it over yet I'm gonna let it get a little bit harder before we flip it over so I don't want it to like fall everywhere <laughs> okay just okay grab it make sure you grab it flip it over quickly but leave it to get okay there you go now bring it right here now hopefully hopefully you can lift it up all right it is the next day it is tuesday now yes yesterday i just man i just lost all my motivation i didn't clean my kitchen i just sat down with madison we watched a couple episodes of our show and then i had to edit at like 10 o'clock last night and so yeah i didn't do anything i didn't pick up my camera i thought well i'll just carry it over to tuesday so i don't know how much footage i got yesterday i don't think it was too much but it was just one of those days where i did not feel motivated at all and we all have them so you know most videos i try to show you like give you the cleaning motivation clean your kitchen at night and i love that feeling but and i gotta admit it drove me nuts but i didn't do it i just didn't do it last night. i was too tired I, I actually started to and then i was like shoot i gotta get my video edited because it i knew it was gonna be like an hour of editing and then at least an hour to upload so i thought i need to do that instead of this and by the time it was uploaded i mean by the time i was done it was about 12 30 when i finally crawled in bed so the kitchen waited till this morning so i've been doing that um cleaning just basically cleaning today and doing some online stuff but i loaded up my car with my recyclables i'm gonna go drop those off and i decided i'm gonna get my butt to the gym because it has been since my sister was visiting when i went and it's ridiculous so i'm not gonna do like a full body workout or anything i'm just gonna do i was reading this thing about 12 um walking on the treadmill for 30 minutes at an incline of 12 at a speed of three and that's like a good like combination or something you know I, I like the cardio fat burning all that it gets you gets me moving so I figure I can take a half hour and do that 
So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna run probably to Walmart before I get Jackson, just to get a few things. And then um, I'll just vlog throughout the day. I'm just gonna make an easy dinner tonight. I figured I'd make the Trader Joe's Indian food that I picked up. I picked up a few different things and I'll just make all of it and we can all sample it. So uh, that's the plan for today. Just running errands, getting things done. I just wanna love you, just wanna hold you, just wanna be with you till we grow old. You sell me, you'll stay, or take me away. I want you for myself every single day. You said my world on fire. You said my world on fire. I just want you. I just need you. I don't know what it is you do. I just want you. I just need you. I don't know what it is you do I just wanna love you, I just wanna hold you Just wanna be with you till we grow old Just tell me you'll stay or take me away I want you for myself every single day You set my world on fire Well, that was quite a workout. <laughs> Every time I go to the gym I realize how out of shape I am but you gotta start somewhere and that was definitely a workout. I'll have to check my Fitbit and see how you know how my heart rate got but I did 12 incline three speed but I worked I might worked my way up the first five minutes I did like two and a half and then I did for 30 minutes so that was quite a workout. I'm gonna run now to Walmart and then I'm gonna get Jackson. All right, I'm home and I ended up going to Old Navy and I didn't even make it over to Walmart, but my girls had gone to Old Navy the other day and I started thinking I haven't been in there in a while. Sorry, I'm trying to put you up here. And I wanted to see if they had brought out like summer stuff, spring stuff, and if they put the winter stuff on sale. And I did buy a couple things. I never did make it to Walmart, so I'll still have to go to Walmart at some point, but you know, that's a almost daily thing for me. I got some of these um, high-rise cropped leggings from Old Navy. They were $15. I buy like the cropped leggings like if you watch my videos, you know, like in the summer and spring. I wear black cropped leggings like that's what I live in. But I've had them for years and they're, since I've lost weight, they're like kind of loose. So I need to go see this year if I can find like a smaller size. But these were, these were $15. At Walmart, they're like four bucks. So I'm definitely gonna look there, but these are like a, head, a gray color, and also they were um, more like they're high rise, and so they you know hold in your your stomach, and so I really like the way they fit. So I thought I will splurge and buy those because I know I'll literally wear them as soon as they're washed. I'll be wearing them <laughs> in the summer, and then. They had boys shirts. Jackson's like at the largest size in boys. Sometimes he can wear like a men's small. So I can't find a lot of things for him. But they did have a lot of t-shirts. And they were all on sale. So these were only five bucks. And mostly like he wears like, what do they call Basketball shorts in the summer. And so just plain t-shirts are good. So I love loved that green. And then I liked this one. So I got it. Hopefully he will. But I thought like with some jean shorts or khaki shorts, for like church in the summer that would be good and those two were five dollars each and that's at goodwill well the three dollars at goodwill but they're the adults are almost five dollars so that was pretty good for brand new and then i got in this just because i liked it this one was six dollars that'll be cute to wear for the summer so yeah i didn't even make it to walmart but that's okay i'll go at some point i didn't have to go i was just gonna actually look at a few things but so jackson's um tart apple tart that we made yesterday he brought home the leftovers from school i actually tasted and it's actually delicious so it's like all the kids in his french class had to make a, a recipe from this french cookbook and then they all got to try them today it was mostly desserts and he tried about only desserts. except the the bread but he ended up trying a lot of stuff and he liked it so this is actually supposed to be eaten warm so after dinner i'm gonna actually warm it up and put some of my sugar-free cool whip on it 
that'll be my dessert. It was actually really good. I love baked apples. Marion loves baked apples, so I'm sure we'll eat it. It did not look like the uh, recipe <laughs> at all, but it was good. So I have to share this with you because it is so good. Elena gave me this the other day and I didn't eat it. I was holding on to it for when I needed like a quick snack and I'm hungry and I don't want to eat anything bad before dinner. So it's an RX bar and this one is um, maple sea salt. See right there and it has, whoops. And the only ingredients are three egg whites, um, five, okay, so three egg whites, five pecans, four cashews, two dates, and it's maple sea salt flavor. And this, it's like really chewy. If you've ever had like a pecan praline that's like the chewy caramel kind of, or they call them like turtle, it doesn't have chocolate, but like it's pecans and caramel, basically. That is literally what this tastes like. Tastes like I'm eating a pecan praline, like a chewy one. And yet, it's healthy. So crazy, it is so, so good. One of my favorites I've tried, <laughs> for sure. All right, it is 5.30. I'm preheating the oven. I'm gonna make easy dinner tonight. These are the, basically all this came from Trader Joe's. We love these mini vegetable samosas. And then I got some garlic naan and two of these frozen dinners. So we'll just share all of it. So this is the fiery chicken curry. I don't know if it's good or not. We'll find out. And then chicken tiki masala. And I'm going to just make some of these chicken strips. Jackson won't want the Indian food, but he'll eat. He'll probably have some garlic naan <laughs> and some chicken strips. So I'm just literally going to throw these in the oven. And then I'll probably heat these in the microwave. And dinner's going to be super easy tonight. I'll let you know if we like these. So you know I love to cook. I don't normally do frozen, but I'm sure these are loaded with sodium. But, you know, every now and then it's fun to have something different. So I'm not worried about it. But I'm sure they're good. I, I love those samosas and pretty much Mary needs everything so I know that I haven't been who I was I am supposed to be the one you can trust I feel so useless cuz I let you down I hope there's some way I can make it all right Cause I know that you deserve much more than this If you give me one more chance I swear I'll try my best to always be there And I want you to
Well, that was delicious. That was definitely an easy dinner and an easy cleanup for sure. <laughs> Super easy cleanup. Um, I don't. I think I liked the chicken curry better, but I they were both so good. They were um, very similar, obviously in flavor. Very spicy. My lips were on fire, and that naan bread was so good with butter on it. And then the samosas are my favorite. I think they have potato in them. That's why they're so good. But there are all kinds of vegetables. We love those. So next time I go back to Trader Joe's, I got to get some more. But um, in a little while, I'm gonna have some of Jackson's apple tart. But I'm gonna let this food settle for a little while. So there's my little apple tart with some sugar-free Cool Whip. I try to put in these little bowls. It makes me like eat less if I put my dessert in a little bowl. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and end this two-day vlog. But thanks for hanging out with me. I hope that you enjoyed it. I love reading all your comments today. I It's Tuesday, so I posted a video today. So lots of comments. I'm tr trying to get to them all. I know that I've missed a lot. I I think I've read every comment, but I don't... If I think I'm going to go back and answer it, I'll just wait to heart it. And then I, you know, I've posted another video and I didn't have time to go back. But I hope you understand. If there's like something you really need to know or you really... Uh, want to let me know just DM me on Instagram because I will get that um, quicker than I will maybe it won't get lost like in the comments section so anyway just FYI if there's something you really need to know and I haven't answered it just send me a private message on Instagram <laughs> anyway I love you guys thanks for hanging out with me and I will see you in the next one bye bye